I'd like to welcome you to the 2011 Shawnee Homecoming. Um, we had a little hiatus last year, but the committee is uh, c committed to uh, continuing this tradition, which we've been doing since 1998, when Shawnee was 125 years old. So we hope that this will continue on for a number of years. Uh, we have a very special event today, this statue, which we're very happy that the Sunday Creek and the city of Shawnee, which it's a joint effort on their part, chose to do this today. And um, without anything further to say, I want to introduce Sandy Landis and John Winneberg from the so Creek Associates. And when John gets here, he'll, he'll welcome you from the town. Sandy? Welcome. Uh, happy Labor Day. Uh, it couldn't be better. We could be standing in rain. We're glad it's warm and sunny. We're going to keep this as short as possible. We would like to thank uh, the Homecoming Committee and the Village for allowing us to have this unveiling of the statue on this day of traditional celebration in Shawnee. Um, and to get us in the mood and to help us uh, approach this event uh, in the right spirit, uh, I'd like to introduce Second Wind. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Mrs. Raven. Yes, those are our stage names, but we have reasons. Uh, we've been a duet for about four years. We do old time mountain and bluegrass music, and we picked up a lot of songs about my favorite moonshining and some coal mining songs, too. They thought this one would be appropriate for today.
really is exactly what I was hoping for in terms of setting the spirit and the tone. Uh, I'd like to introduce my colleague Don Winnenberg, who's going to give us a very brief tribute to the Knights of Labor, and then we're going to meet our special guests. All right. We're uh, gathered here today to uh, uh, look back but also to uh, not just look back and reminisce, but look back and uh, learn from our past. And uh, we, uh, as uh, people who populate these mining towns that are called Little Cities of Black Diamonds, uh, many of our families came directly from Europe uh, here to work in these coal mines. Some of our families came, were African Americans who came from the South after the Civil War to work in these mines, and together we created this very uh, special place that uh, has been called the Hawking Valley Coal Fields, uh, has been called the Little Cities of Black Diamonds, and today as the forest surrounds us, we also refer to this area as Little Cities of the Forest, as we're surrounded by trees once again. But it's a special place, and it's special for many reasons, and we all have our own, but it Historically, it's special because of what our ancestors did when they came here to Shawnee and New Straitsville and Gloucester and Wrenville and Murray City. Uh, they not only went dark, deep down into the dark mines and labored day after day for, for very small wages, uh, they also found opportunity in these towns and established our families that live on to this day. <coughs> but they contributed to this country in a very special way particularly the miners here in Shawnee and New Straitsville, who joined early on with an organization called the Knights of Labor, and was an organization that believed an injury to one is a concern to all. It believed in workers, whether they be of color or whether they be women or men, that together uh, they could form a perfect organization that would advance America where laborers and owners would get together and mediate their problems and come up with solutions that would allow for all parties to benefit. And that struggle continues on in our country to this day. Uh, and we all have differing opinions about uh, labor in this country, but please know that here in, in these communities, the miners here established the, the, the labor union, were very early in the labor union movement here in the United States joining with the Knights of Labor and eventually uh, transferring to the trade union movement and forming the United Mine Workers of America. Uh, so on this Labor Day, we should all pat ourselves on the back for the labor we've done this past year uh, to keep our families together, to support one another, to keep our businesses and our schools and our, our communities working. And we also should look back to the past and know that our ancestors have a lot to do with things like the eight-hour workday, fair wages, and, and opportunities to uh, advance yourself in this country. So it's at this po point in history where we struggle with these same issues that we can learn from the past. And we're hopeful today that this statue and this event will keep us mindful of uh, the actions of those that came before us and our benefit, and that we all every day toil and labor to benefit those who will will come in the following generations who will hopefully see this statue standing here a hundred years later as we are standing here a hundred years later so thank you all for coming so. there are thousands of miners who worked here in the region over the years we've had the privilege uh, of inviting three of those miners to come and help unveil the statue today um, and they're standing in for the thousands who have worked in the region. I'd like to introduce uh, Mr. Bernard Stuckdorn from Shawnee, was one of the persons who first served on Sunday Creek Associates Board. Mr. Stickdorn is a faithful supporter 
He stops by frequently and uh, lets me know he's watching what we do. And Mr. Pompey um, was like a grandfather to my youngest son, so personally he's a favorite. So we appreciate that. Would any of you gentlemen care to say anything? <laughs> okay, it's all been said. Um, our last special guest to uh, introduce to you today is Alan Cottrell. One of the most beautiful things about this project is that we've gotten to make a new friend. Alan, we count you as a dear and a new friend. Had a great time. Alan and these three gentlemen to unveil the statue. It was a real honor to be chosen to do this statue. It was a pleasure working with John and Sandy. I attempted to capture the rugged, tough spirit of the coal miners of the past and the present in this region. And uh, that's what I tried to portray here. So I hope it's successful. Thank you. Go help him there, Bernard and Roger and Mike. I don't know. I didn't put it in. Here it is. miners in the crowd? Hey, Jay. Yeah. 